Elizabeth Warren, uh, we were told by Washington, is way too partisan. Uh, the Republicans don't agree with her. Obviously, we had to get her out of town. She can't lead the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. She doesn't even agree with the Republicans, right? Well, guess what's happening? Now that she's thinking of running for uh, the Senate in Massachusetts, the first poll they did when people weren't aware of uh, her ideas yet, uh, et cetera, first poll, she's down by 20. You know what happened in the last poll? She's up by two. Why? I'm gonna show you why in a second. But uh, let me give you, I love this quote from uh, Scott Brown who's gonna be running against her. Some guy is uh, actually overhears him talking on his cell phone by his office. A reporter overhears him and then uh, is, is tells TPM, okay? Here's his quote. Just walked past Senator Brown's office and in the hallway was the, main, uh, was the man himself lamenting into his cell phone, quote, I don't understand how she can be down 20 points one week and is now up to. What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on, because she's out there kicking ass. She's a populist, and she's telling people, you know what? We're not going to give everything to the rich anymore. Listen, listen for yourself. Go to clip 18. Here's Elizabeth Warren. You're all this, you know, well, this is class warfare, this is whatever. No, there is nobody in this country who got rich on his own. Nobody. You built a factory out there, good for you, but I want to be clear, you moved your goods to market on the roads the rest of us paid for. Yep. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. You uh, were safe in your factory because of police forces and fire forces that the rest of us paid for. You didn't have to worry that marauding bands would come and seize everything at your factory and hire someone to protect against this because of the work the rest of us did. Now look, you built a factory and it turned into something terrific or a great idea. God bless, keep a big hunk of it. But part of the underlying social contract is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along. I love it. How simple was that? That's aggressive. That's true. Everybody uh, agrees with it. And you know what happened? That's a 22-point swing. Gee, I wonder how she did it. She actually cares about the people. That's how she did it. It's so simple. And the Democrats in Washington, they're like, I don't understand. But she didn't even agree with any Republicans. How is she winning? That's why she's winning. And you want to hear what she thinks about Republicans? Watch this. My favorite part of looking at this whole, we got this whole uh, uh, $1, billion, uh, $1 trillion on tax cuts for the rich under George Bush. We got into this whole $2 trillion on two wars that we put mm -hmm. on a credit card for our children and grandchildren to pay off. And we got into this whole $1 trillion on a Medicare drug program that A, was not paid for, and B, is 40% more expensive than it needs to be because it was a giveaway to the drug companies. So we just have, I mean, that's just $4 trillion right there. So part of the way you fix this problem is, like, don't do those things. <laughs> President Obama, how hard was that? In about 40 seconds, she just summarized the whole problem. We gave away $4 trillion on stupid Republican ideas. You don't win by agreeing with those ideas. You win by fighting against those ideas. That's why she had a 22-point swing immediately, because she takes the fight to them. You want to learn something from that? My guess is the rest of Washington will not learn a damn thing from that.